The black community suffers from the worst health disparities. The Minister of Wellness Ministries is the only pro-black Bible-based health ministry of its kind. We teach biblical health principles that can eradicate obesity and disease. We have everything you need to feel better than you've ever felt in your life. Act now to get your biblical health ebook and DVD both for free. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, TheMinisterOfWellness.com. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on January 15th is the day that Martin Luther King Jr. was born and usually around that date, there are a whole bunch of celebrations that take place, whether it's parades, parties, marches, you name it. Well, this year, his descendants are asking that we do not celebrate that day until the Biden administration and Congress passes the H.R. 4 Act or the John Lewis Voting, Voting Rights um, Advancement Act or something like that. And so they're saying until that's passed, let's not celebrate. Instead, let's march our, and cross over bridges in our communities and ultimately end up in Washington, D.C., on January 17th. Now, his daughter-in-law, him being Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter-in-law, said the following. It's certainly great that this got done. Uh, King's daughter-in-law, Andrea Waters King, told the Daily Beast of President Joe Biden's bipartisan infrastructure framework. But now, the bipartisan infrastructure bill has been accomplished, Waters King said. Voters are looking for Congress and the White House to use that same power and muscle to come together and really stand um, now for the people on voting rights. And so the Voting Rights Act that they are trying to get passed will basically put protections in place so that states and other political entities cannot just pass or change voters' rights without getting a preclearance from, I guess, the federal government. And so, of course, that bill has stalled in Congress. The House has passed it, but the Senate says, nah, we don't want that. And so um, the Republicans have gone through a filibuster, basically making the bill dead on arrival because they don't want to pass it. But it is also said that uh, since the Democrats have control, they can change the rules and get rid of the filibuster. But there's some Democrats who are like, well, we don't really want to do that. So anyway, I say all of that to say it's really just a waste of time and much to do about nothing, right? This is just some more, you know, symbolism to get people all worked up. But as I always ask this question about voters' rights, we know that, you know, applies to black people because they have and continue to try to strip our right to vote away from us. But let's say we do get that pass. What are we going to do with our votes? Are we going to continue to vote for oppression Vote for the Democrats who lie to us and say they're going to do X, Y, and Z, and really they ain't even saying that anymore. But are we going to continue to vote for them and get nothing? Like, what are we doing with our right to vote as it stands? We're wasting it. We continue to vote for symbolism. So to me, yeah, I think it's important that we have voters' rights in place to protect those things. But I think it's more important that when we do go vote as black people, vote responsibly. Stop voting for people who care nothing for you. So anyway, I'm not going to boycott. Um, I usually don't do anything on that day anyway, but I'm surely not going to be crossing over no bridges and marching and chanting we shall overcome and any of that other stuff. So anyway, y'all, before you leave, we have a fundraiser going on here at the African Diaspora News Channel via a GoFundMe. We have the link in the description box. It is to help keep this channel up and running to continue bringing you the news that you will not get on any other mainstream channel news that talks about us as black people and a lot of things that are done to us as black people that they don't report on right so it is very important to support where you get your source of information again that link is in the description box and we are going to south africa in march 
If you want to be included on that trip, please click the link and get the details so that you can come along and come back to the motherland with us. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.